Hello guys, welcome to Bite Official. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Red Hat 8 on VMware Workstation Pro. So basically, I am going to show you how you can install the both GUI version that is the graphical user interface and the CLI that is the command line interface versions of Red Hat 8. We use GUI versions when we have ample amount of RAM and processor power. But if you are low on RAM or processor or maybe both then I would recommend you to use the CLI version of Red Hat 8. So let's see how we can do both of them. So first we are going to open VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro. If you need the pro version crack then you can watch my earlier videos where I have shown how we can crack VMware workstation. So follow me in this tutorial. First of all we will create a new virtual machine. Keep it to typical and select next. Now here in the installer disk image file you have to provide the path of the ISO image of Red Hat 8. I have provided the links in the description below. You can download it from there. Here you can write your name username password so i am writing my name as byte official let the username be byte and let us take password as 1234 actually we are going to change this password later on select next so here you can change the location where you want to keep the virtual machine but do keep in mind that the folder in which you are keeping the virtual machine should be empty otherwise this would not take this, that as a location as you can see over here the folder was not empty so i have to select it once again Now select next. Here we can provide the maximum disk size that is I have kept it to default 20 GBs and select the store virtual disk as single file. In this page we can customize the hardware. Since we are going with the CLI version I am using just 1 GB of RAM. You can keep even less. Here I am providing a single processor and two cores. So here we have a new virtual machine created. Now we just need to install Red Hat in this. So now double click on the memory. This will take us to the virtual machine settings. Here we need to delete this ISO image file. This will disable the easy install of VMware. Now we can easily install the CLI version along with the GUI version. If we have that easy install enabled then we will not be able to install the CLI version because it will prevent us from doing so. Now we will power on this virtual machine.
so keep following me in this installation wizard Here we are changing the date and time. Now we will go to the software selection page. If we select the server with GUI, then the GUI version will be installed. And since we are installing the CLI version, we are going with minimal install. This will install the CLI version. From here we can select the add-ons if we need them. We are disabling KDump. Disabling this lowers the amount of RAM used by VMware in the CLI version. Here we are configuring Ethernet so that our CLI version has internet access. So we are good to go. Now here we can give the root password that we will need while logging in to the CLI version of Red Hat 8. So we need to hold on until this Red Hat 8 gets installed on top of VMware Workstation Pro. So here we have our terminal of Red Hat 8 CLI version installed. Here we, you can see that VMware is taking only 47.8 MB RAM. So you can see CLI version of Red Hat is so light. It requires less than 50 MB of RAM for running. Thank you for watching this video.